Hey, today we're talking about very small creatures. They are neither plants nor animals. And you can see them everywhere. Well, actually you can't see them because they're very, very small, but they are everywhere. Some of them are dangerous, but most of them are not. Now, do you know what I'm talking about? Now, if you said blue whales, you're wrong. Because blue whales are one, very, very huge, and two, they are animals. And as I said, these creatures are neither plants nor animals. So, what are they? Oh, come on, it was funny. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thanks, it wasn't necessary. Anyways, today I have a story for you featuring bacteria. And at the end of the video, I have a riddle for you. But before we get started with this story, Let's focus on the word bacteria. This is the plural form. What is the singular form, you know? It's bacterium. One bacterium, many bacteria. This plural ending comes from Latin. And there are many other words like this coming from Latin when we have to change the singular um, um, spelled um form, into a in plural. Like for example, stratum, strata. We have one stratum, many strata. By the way, a stratum is a layer of substance, like a rock, for example. Here you can see it in the picture. Another example is eretum or carigenum. These two nouns have also the plural forms ereta and carigenum respectively. Now, both eretum and carigenum refer to an error in the printed word discovered after printing and shown along with its correction on a separate sheet. Fine, and then there are many words like this that have double endings, so they can be either regular or irregular. Like for example, aquarium. Here is an aquarium. This is a container for fish and water, plants and other animals. It's usually made of glass. And you have one aquarium, and you can say either many aquariums or many aquaria. So here, both endings are acceptable. Now, do you know any other nouns like this that have Latin endings in plural? And in particular, this ending, UM, which turns into UMS or A in plural. If you do, write them down below in the comments, and I'm eager to see what you come up with. Anyway, now let's get started with our story. Here's a story about bacteria. Here's a story about bacteria talking about life. Why people abhor bacteria? Here you can see a lot of bacteria. Among all these bacteria we have two, the older one and the younger one. They are talking. Younger bacterium says, Hey, tell me one thing. I've noticed we're all following your lead. Is it because you're the oldest? No, but I know where to find some leftovers that we can eat. The older bacterium answers. Now, to follow someone's lead, this means to do the same thing that someone else has done. Leftovers is food that has not been finished at a meal and that is often served at another meal. So, the older bacterium knows where to find this food. The journey is so long and boring, let's talk! The younger bacterium suggests. What do you want to talk about, food? The older bacterium asks. Food and other necessities of life. Necessities of life are things that a person must have in order to survive. Food belongs to those things. Tell me, why do people abhor us in the first place? We are so teeny, they can't even see us after all. Why do people abhor us? Abhor means to dislike very much, to hate. So why do people hate us so much? We are so teeny. Teeny means very small, tiny. We are so small, they can't even see us. Now, bacteria are really teeny tiny, which means very, very small. To see them, you need a microscope. 
Well, maybe not like this one, a much more powerful one, an electron microscope. And one more thing, remember this hilarious joke about the blue whale at the beginning of this video? Now, if you want to see how bacteria and blue whales really differ in size and how many other things differ in size, I have a video how big and how small things are, size comparisons, on my Prosperous Science channel. So feel free to check it out. I also have a written version of this on my Prosper Coder blog. Now, the links are down below in the description of this video. And now let's get back to our story. People have loathed us since they made a connection between us and the diseases some of us cause. To loathe means to hate very much. So, people have hated us. To make a connection or to make the connection this means to understand that there is a relationship between two or more things. So, they made the connection between us and the diseases some of us cause. So, people realized that there is a relationship between the bacteria and some diseases. Do we really cause diseases? Most of us don't, but some of us do. We race pale mouth through people's bodies and sometimes we get out of hand. Now, we race pale mouth. Pale mouth means in a confused and hurried way. Now, here we can see what pale mouth really means. Sometimes we get out of hand. Out of hand means not controlled, so we get out of control. How do they keep us at bay? Keep at bay means to not allow someone to come closer while attacking or trying to approach someone. They fight to the nail. Sometimes they win, sometimes we do. To the nail means with a lot of effort and determination. They fight with a lot of effort and determination. It's worst when they keep their houses pig and span. There's no leftover food for us then. Spig and span means very clean and neat. And how look at this? This is spig and span. It's not easy to be a bacterium nowadays. The younger bacterium concludes. Fine, and now that you know all the vocabulary, let's have a look at the story one more time. Why people have poor bacteria? Hey, tell me one thing. I've noticed we're all following your lead. Is it because you're the oldest? No, but I know where to find some leftovers that we can eat. The journey is so long and boring. Let's talk. What do you want to talk about? Food? Food and other necessities of life. Tell me, why do people abhor us in the first place? We are so teeny, they can't even see us after all. People have loved us since they made a connection between us and the diseases some of us cause. Do we really cause diseases? Most of us don't, but some of us do. We race pell mouth through people's bodies and sometimes we get out of hand. How do they keep us at bay? They fight tooth and nail. Sometimes they win, sometimes we do. It's worst when they keep their houses pig and spam. There's no leftover food for us then. It's not easy to be a bacterium nowadays. Now, if you like this video and would like to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my blog at prosperoenglish.com. You can see it over here. And also, please subscribe to my mailing list and newsletter. I have a present for all my subscribers. This is my 67 page ebook on English tenses with all English tenses explained in detail. So just look down in the description section and you will find the link to this. Now, if you want to learn this very same vocabulary in German, French or Spanish, feel free to watch my videos on my other YouTube channels. You'll find the links down in the description. So and now it's time for the riddle. Have a look at this image. What is this? This is my question. What is this? What can you say in the image? Now, if you know the answer, write it down in the comments below. And I will give you the correct answer in my next video. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. 
If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.